What's up guys, LJ here from your Tech, and I'm back with a review of a very interesting case I have today of the Keyboard Buddy Case Backlit Edition by, as you can see right there, Boxwave. So I've never reviewed a product um, from Boxwave before, and certainly not reviewed a product, um, a keyboard for the iPhone. So I was really interested in trying this out. I saw a couple people that did reviews on YouTube, and I thought, you know, I would contact them, and they were kind enough to send me the... the um, product to review. So first I'm going to show you the back because it shows you some of the cool features that this case uh, does. So you know they talk about ultra um, sleek design, it's a 2.0 uh, Bluetooth, um, it does backlit keyboard, it has a charge up to two weeks uh, which they say if you turn it off because you'll see there's an on and off switch and um, if you turn it off when you're not using it then it has a two week uh, battery life and it's compatible of course with the four iPhone 4s and the iPhone 4. So in the case, very simple. It just comes with a small guide because it, you know, it's obviously more complicated than your average case. So it shows you some of the buttons, um, how to sync it up, and things like that. If you want to read that, uh, in the in the actual box, it's very simple. It comes with the case. You have no screen shield or anything like that. Um, so let's take this off. Put it to the side. Here you have the cable, normal, you know, mini USB to USB. You can charge it on your computer or on a normal outlet. So the case itself, as you can see right there, you have the instruction on how to put it in. Uh, I'm going to tell you right now, I did used to try this case with the protective film on the back of the iPhone. And it wouldn't fit properly, so I would recommend if you have that to take it off. You know, it's... I prefer cases that can fit with the, the uh, protective on the back, but you know what can you do? Um, most cases actually out there can't um, don't have space to to have the film on the back. Um, so basically, to put it in, very simple. You just take your iPhone. It is a pretty snug fit, so you want to put your button side first, not to make sure you don't damage them, and then just basically just push it in like this, and there you go. All right, so. First off, uh, you can see the top. It's not there's nothing there, so it's just clipped in from the sides, like there and right there. So the top, of course, you know it's open for your ports, no problem. Headphone jack. Um, the side, the buttons are easily accessible. The uh, vibrate button, very easy to access because it's all open, as you can see. And then same with the top, it's all open right there, so everything is nicely accessible. Um, so. Um, it does, as you can see right there, it does add some thickness to the iPhone, obviously. Um, pretty much this would be from there, halfway there, to there, would be a normal case, like a, you know, like a normal iPhone case that you would have. And then, um, and then this part is pretty much the keyboard that you add onto that. Um, at the back, as you can see, it is uh, pretty deeply recessed there um, for the camera. And then you have the Boxwave logo right there. Uh, maybe, you know, it would have been nice to maybe see, like, a, some kind of design on there. But, I mean, I guess you can put some kind of sticker or whatever. Um, so, it pretty much works like this. You take the iPhone, you just slide it out, and there you go. So, this is the keyboard. Uh, very nicely functional keyboard. Um, the, the, um, the keys are kind of small, but, I mean, you get if you get used to it, it's not... It's, uh, it's, you type faster, obviously, than the uh, normal keyboard on the iPhone. Alright, so basically to connect it, you just go into your settings and then you're going to go to uh, general Bluetooth and then you're going to see right there it's going to be something called Bluetooth wireless keyboard and you're just going to click on that and it's going to give you um, it's going to give you a pop-up and it's going to say enter um, it's at 1, 2, 3, 4 it's going to give you four numbers, you're going to enter it there and then it's going to be paired up. Um, yeah, well, when you want to pair it up to your iPhone, you want to press that little button right there. I'm not sure if you can see that right there with a the pin, and then you, you know, it's going to find it like that. So very easy to connect. I didn't have any problems. And then once it's saved, uh, it's going to be saved, you know, for the rest of until maybe like you restore your iPhone or something like that. Um, so let's go give you a demonstration and notes right there. So on your note, there you go. Orientation, there you go. So uh, basically, the keyboard is backlit. So I'm not sure you'll be able to see it there because it's daytime. But um, it is a very nice backlit keyboard. It's very similar to the one that you would have on your MacBook. Um, so that's a very nice feature. I know some of the editions didn't have that, 
uh, I think I mean, if you're going to have that case, you might as well, you know, put the a little bit extra money to have the backlit edition because, you know, a lot of times you st you, te you text at night or whatever, you're in the theater or whatever, and you want to have that backlit keyboard, and it looks cool. Um, so basically, yeah, the keys are pretty, you know, easy to click, not too bad. Um, it's all your normal QWERTY keyboard, you know. Uh, the space bar, notice that if you press in the middle, it's not as responsive as on the sides, um, but it's getting better though, maybe it's because it was new. Um, then you can see right there, what I like about this is having a key, the external keyboard for the iPhone. It gives you the entire screen to you know see what you're doing compared to, you can see you can click this button and it'll show the virtual keyboard as if you were like this, and then it only shows you half of the screen. So that's really something that I liked, especially for texting, because I use it a lot for texting. Um, then of course you can turn off the back of the keyboard to save battery. Uh, you can lock your phone, so that's pretty cool as well. You can lock your phone like this, and then if you press that again, you don't have to go through the slide to unlock. So that's a pretty cool feature as well. And then you can go back to the home menu with this button right there. So there you go. So the only uh, thing I would say about this case is I did have one problem at the beginning, which probably because um, it did it straight away when I took it out of the case. Um, it's when you open it up, it, as you can see, but it does it less. I noticed uh, it kind of stops right there, and then it opens. Um, so basically, now it's probably a faulty uh, screw because I know you can see you probably won't be able to see, but there, there are some screws there, and some one of them is probably loose. Um, but I mean, it's not really not that big. If you do it like properly, like that, then it works fine. And it's really solid. You know, it's the kind of case that you might think. You know, it's it's gonna break, or whatever. But really, you know, it's good quality. I've used it for a week now, and it's in perfect condition, working good, no problem with the wireless connection, nothing like that. You see right there, the um, camera hole, and then you can see it's a lot more recessed like this. Uh, but the flash works fine. Um, so yeah, overall, you know, I'm very happy with this case. It goes. Uh, I know you can buy it on the Boxwave site for. Sixty nine ninety five. It was normally eighty nine ninety five, so I'd say twenty two percent discount on that. So that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, you know, I definitely recommend getting this case. I mean, if you're like me and you text a lot on your iPhone or you know you take notes, whatever in class, I don't know what you might do. Um, it's definitely you know it's definitely a cool gadget to have, and uh, yeah, you'll definitely. Uh, you'll definitely type a lot faster than with the virtual keyboard. I'm going to have all the information in the box below, the link to where you can buy the case, and also my Twitter and all sorts of information concerning the case. Uh, I'd like to thank the people at Boxwave again for sending me the product, and uh, don't forget to subscribe and press that like button. It's been LJ from UTech, signing out. Peace.